Welcome back to Arc Maine. Mainers have a rare viewing opportunity to catch a seven planet parade this week. Oh, I love astronomy. Uh, Weather Authority <laughs> Meteorologist Emily Sandham joins us down with the details and when you can catch it. And this is a cool event, guys. Um, Christian and I were just thinking about all the acronyms about the planets growing up. One of them was like, my very educated mother made us nachos. I forgot about that. And then when oh, Pluto so was a thing, it was like my very educated mother <laughs> made us nine pizzas. <laughs> I think that's what it was. We were looking them up. There's like poems. Oh my gosh. And then we were making up our own. Yeah, my mind went to, we were using parade as the, to refer to the storms. Remember that right? like stretch? We were like, it's like a parade of storms, but now we're talking about parade of planets. Yes. So what are we talking about All right, here? So seven different planets will be visible through Friday night. Here oh. they are. We are looking at a seven planet parade. You'll be able to see Mercury, Mars, Saturn, Venus, and Jupiter with just your eye. But you will need a telescope, though, for Uranus and Neptune. So this is a very rare event known as an alignment. And most of the time of you actually cannot catch all the planets at once. And that's thanks to the ecliptic. Planets fall an ecliptic. And we talked about that a little bit um, with the lunar eclipse and the solar eclipse last April. So the ecliptic is the plane in which the planets follow as they orbit around the sun at different speeds. But every so often, like what we're seeing tonight and tomorrow night, you can see them all in the night sky. So wow. I've already seen some pictures online of people who have been catching it throughout the week. And you definitely need, there's like an astron astronomer photographer out there. Wow. They've been working with the space.com website and they needed like a fish eye and yeah. another different type. I don't know cameras very well, but like this other different camera. And they were able to catch all the planets, but it's, it's very surreal. You have to know what you're looking for right. too. So usually you can see it, or I guess in this case, you can see it from the, if you're looking to the east, the south, and the west. These are, I know these planets are a little bit small, but we have all seven of them right there. Let's talk about how you can view sure. them. So the best time is after sunset on Friday, but you can actually see them tonight too. We may run into a cloudy issue. We'll talk about the clouds mm -hmm. in just a minute here. But if you want to see the sky once again, or the planets look east, southwest, um, find a dark viewing <laughs> spot. East, southwest, okay. Here they are on your right. screen right here, Jeff. <laughs> there are the cloud or the planets literally align east, southwest. If you look all in that direction, anywhere but north, basically, okay. is when you could see the planets. So let's go back to our viewing points. Find a dark viewing spot. Let your eyes adjust for about 30 minutes, just appropriately, as it is still February, but uh, tomorrow is the last day of February, That's right. which is pretty crazy. So let's talk about our cloud tracker. It's a little bit discouraging, but at some portions, though, you may be able to see uh, the planets begin to peak out, like maybe southern Oxford County in Maine, or if you're down in northern Massachusetts, you know, we are approaching the weekend. If you're traveling for the weekend, uh, that may be, there may be other spots that are better than some spots in Maine, but a little bit partly cloudy. This look at 10 o'clock tonight. We'll, we'll clear out down York County. Much of central and southern New Hampshire will stay clear, so you can see um, the planets are overnight uh, tonight, even heading into Friday. And this look at six o'clock on a Friday, northern New Hampshire, the Northeast Kingdom and Vermont will be on the clearer side, but then it looks like clouds will really take mm -hmm. over. So you may be able to see them Saturday night too, but it's really they're highlighting tonight and tomorrow night. Okay, because we do have that snow that we've been tracking for tomorrow night. Yes, exactly, which is why clouds will be an issue. Mm -hmm. Something else too is that the next time this will happen is late October 2028. Ooh. In this August of 2025, you can see four planets in a row. We've cool. seen that quite a bit um, in January this past month, too, that you can see four planets at the same time. But this is a very, very rare event. So we'll have to wait another three years, three and a half years, to catch an event like yes. this. Someone's going to get some great photos exactly. of this, and, and we'll show them. Somebody's got some really nice telescopes, yes. too, that you can uh, oh, probably yeah. see the planets through. Uh, USM Planetarium, that's a great spot, too, oh, by cool. the way. Exactly. You know what? We are dealing with a cloudy situation tonight and tomorrow night. Uh, so if you're anywhere else in the country, if you're traveling to this weekend, uh, you may be able to catch it if you've got clear skies. Yeah, so. maybe we'll, let's keep track on, on social media and see yeah. if people share some, maybe tonight into tomorrow. Maybe we could try to share some tomorrow. And we all have followers, too, outside yeah. of New England. So maybe I've already seen one picture from, I think, a couple days ago. Um, but I'm excited to see if anyone else sees yeah, it in it, a non-cloudy community. And if you see it, let us know. <laughs> yes, and if you see it too, you can always yeah. email those pictures to our weather email. You can also ask your questions there. Just email us at weather at wgme.com. Yeah, especially if you have a strong, really yes. good quality camera, take a picture. There we us. go. <laughs>